Now, our next guest is one of the biggest names in Australian music. Guy Sebastian sold more than 7 million records worldwide. He is also the only Aussie artist to achieve six number one singles in ARIA chart history. Now he's back with a brand new album. It is so good to have Guy Sebastian <laughs> back in the studio. Mate. It's been ages. It has been a huge... And congratulations on all the music. Thank you. Um, yeah. Now, Love on Display... Mm. Is the new single. It is, yeah. uh, Is that a bit of an insight into the relationship of you and Jules? Is this uh, about PDAs between you and your missus? Yes. Well, I wouldn't say <laughs> we're exhibitionists or anything. <laughs> oh, but, uh, I don't know. Hey, but, uh, lovey -dovey. I know your wife. <laughs> she and and we are quite affectionate, and 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 we are oh. affectionate in public. I mean, we're we're not. We won't sit on a park bench and bash each other's <laughs> faces off because that. Right. You know, okay. not anymore. Oh, we enough. we used to, but <laughs> look, she's only human, so I, I wouldn't put it past her. You know? <laughs> but look, it's a nice breath, I guess. For a lot of the songs that I've released lately, I have had a bit more of an emotional backbone to them, and 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 that does it gets it does get emotionally tiring after a little while. So to have a little escape where I can just kind of chill and dance a little bit with the release is nice. Yes. Thank well, good. the new album is called Truth. Yes. And that yeah. seems to be what it is. This seems to be sort of a real insight into your life a little bit. Um, mm. One of the tracks is Choir, which came out of tragedy yeah. um, when you lost a friend and a bandmate. Mm. Um, but it's been one of your biggest hits ever. So has, it, has that been quite healing for you to, to do this song? I think it's the best formula when you can have a song that actually resonates with people and, and, you know, things that everybody goes through, which is grief and loss, and at some stage we all experience that. And I feel like it's, an, it's a nice way to address loss as well because it's quite joyful. It's like more of a celebration of someone's life than, than just dealing with the emotional grief of it. So I've never had more feedback than I've had recently from songs like Choir, also Standing With You, which kind of deals with mental health. Mm. And um, It's been a good topic to be able to cover as an artist, especially during these times. You guys have been obviously talking yeah. about Victoria a fair bit this morning. And so I think it's a message a lot of people need to hear is that we're not alone, we're not doing this alone, and, and we're all standing with each other through mm. this. Yep. Well said. Now tell me about the song In A World, because yeah. you've got your two sons singing on it. I do. Um, yeah. Uh, tell us how that went in the recording studio to um, get these oh, little monsters there. singing <laughs> and under control. That's Jules in her pajamas. Well, Hudson's eight and, and, and Archie's six years old, and uh, Hudson had a song written for him called "Big Bad World" that I wrote while he was in the womb. And Archie was a little bit jealous, so he he wanted his own song. So I wrote him a song on this album called "In a World," and it's basically it's it's a it's a song that is basically a, a prayer, I guess, to to have a safe place where. Um, you know, some of the lyrics are like where te teachers can just teach without training for a tragedy, um, where you can love the one you love without fear. And, yeah. and uh, so it's just basically a, a prayer for a, a world that's safe for our kids mm. to grow up in. Yeah. And they feature in it, so they start singing yeah. uh, in the bridge. I sort of fade out um, uh, one of the feature um, girls on the album, Shun, and I fade out her vocals, and the, the boys <laughs> come in, and I, I, I do get emotional still here in that Aww. song. But it's my Aww. favourite song on the album it's as well. It's so lovely. Do these kids mm. know how lucky they are? that they just say, Dad, I want a song. And you write a song for them. I often do think stuff like that. Like, we, uh, we've got so many friends and people in, in showbiz that might come over and, and um, you know, like, uh, e even the other day I was saying to Jules, like, like, I was filming Hudson play, he loves cricket, and Steve Smith's bowling at him. Right. In the backyard. And I'm just going, ha does he realise the best <laughs> cricketer in the world right now is bowling at him? <laughs> he yeah. gets to meet all these people and, and uh, yeah, look, it's, it's about keeping them humble somehow right. and, and, yeah. Will yeah. either of them get into music? Are any of them sh showing any of the talent? They're definitely very musical and, and weirdly have... have really, really great pitch and feel and, and Hudson's always sung, but it was actually Archie oh. that really surprised me in the studio because he's, he's a lot more shy. And when he started singing this song, it was just perfect, this beautiful, perfect, breathy voice. And, and uh, it was beautiful to watch because he doesn't back himself as much as Hudson. Hudson, he's got confidence right. uh, yeah, <laughs> to boot. But, well, it's uh, in the genes. How exciting to, yeah, to watch that yeah, develop. Yeah. Um, now, you've announced a tour for late next year. So you've been busy during COVID lockdown because you're putting out this music. How mm. exciting will it actually be able to get out there in front of crowds again? Um, it's something I'm probably the most excited about uh, because, it, yeah, as you said, we've all been kind of, you know, hanging to get back to public gathering and being able to 
uh, perform again. There's a lot of people in, in, in my industry that are that are struggling because I mean, not, we, there's a lot of focus on the financial side of stuff, but a lot of performers that's how they get their self-esteem, their yep. self-worth and their purpose. And so um, I'm looking forward to get back. It's, it's in November next year. Mm. And, uh, and also I've got um, some new shows that I'm adding. So, so I have oh. to thank all the people over the weekend, especially for uh, the support on, on, on the tour so far. And, right. and, and as a result, we're adding a new show in Melbourne and, an, and another show in Sydney that's as fantastic. well, I'm, which goes yeah, on sale at 9am, I think, Good this idea. morning. Yeah. All right. Well, right. Guy, yeah. Guy Sebastian's new album, Truth Is Out Now. Tickets are on sale for his national tour, as he was saying. You'll find all the details at sunrise.com.au.